hello you guys welcome back to the channel it's your girl gabrielle ariana and i'm back with another video before we get into the video make sure you guys subscribe turn on the post notification bell so you're notified every time i upload a video like comment share all those beautiful things um and welcome to my channel if you are new and if you're not new oh what is up so let's get right into it okay you guys so in today's video i'm going to be continuing my movie mondays series it's been a minute since i posted to this series um and i've been really wanting to get back in the swing of things of posting videos that are you know posting uh, my series videos and continuing my series so anyways from the title you're going to see that i'm talking about the prince of egypt and joseph king of dreams now this is it um so i've actually never i didn't only i didn't hear about these movies or really the prince of egypt until my friend so i have a movie obviously i have a movie collection right and then she's like oh do you guys do you have the prince of egypt because i think it's like one of her favorite movies and i was like no i've actually never heard of that and when people ask me if i have a movie that i don't have i feel challenged to get the movie so i bought it and it came as a two for one with both the prince of egypt and the king of dreams now i watched this a few weeks uh, a few months ago over the summer both of them because um, i'm like i'll be trying to watch my movies you know that i have you know that's the point of me having them to watch them and they're actually depicting the bible and i did not know that uh and so i watched them recently again with a friend it was a full circle moment for me because i watched uh pastor Dwight buckner and he's been referencing um he was, was he was referencing joseph's story the king of dreams and moses story like literally the videos that i've been watching of his like bible studies um or even his sermons um or his sunday services have been referencing these two specific stories and it's like it's just super low-key cool for me because it's like wow um and i watched them and i really 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 love them i especially love uh joseph king of dreams because i do dream i'm a dreamer and i be having some prophetic dreams uh and it was just really exciting to just see and see like see the uh, two separate stories from the bible we depicted um in a film in a cartoon a cartoon film as a kid movie that makes it a lot easier to digest um and understand and obviously as a kid watching this i didn't watch it as a kid but any kid watching it wouldn't know to its full depth that it's about the bible or even about god um unless you know you're taught that growing up and so i wanted to talk about it a little bit more in depth and basically prince of egypt's story is about moses and um him uh he was a prince of egypt and then he learned how he was actually from slaves like his family was his family of slaves from israel like um i don't want to butcher too much because i'm not again i'm not that knowledgeable on this so watching the movie was very helpful for me um and growing up in royalty but really coming from being a slave or peasants whatever you call it was like whoa life changing for him um he ended up going back to his his family um and he was being told by god like they need to let his people go let his people be free and his brother who's not his brother but it's also his brother that was now the king of egypt or the pharaoh i believe uh was refusing to let his people go and so that's when the plague happened um, and then it was the divide, division of the Red Sea. And it's just really cool because I would have never thought that was like in the Bible. And just seeing it was like, wow. It's just, yeah. That story was also very, uh, what's a good word? A lot to digest, I would say. It wasn't more, it wasn't like a happier ending, at least in the movie. Um, Cause I, again, I don't know the full in-depth story um, in the Bible, but I'm just going off what's in the movie. It was a good ending, you know, all the people were together and they were free. But it's still like, because what was happening, um, the Pharaoh, who's the king of Egypt's brother, who then took over once he left, uh, Moses left to be with his people, um, told him like, let his people go or the firstborn will pass or die or something. And so the, the Pharaoh's son or daughter, I think it was a daughter, had died and it was just very very dark and deep and my intake from it was like i feel like his ego was in the way he was very just 
no 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 rah, 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 no but it's just like just let them go it's not it's not that deep he's telling him let them go before it gets worse before it gets bad i'm asking you nicely and he was just like nope just trying to be stern and very what's the word putting his foot down it's, you know adamant on like he's in charge and he's not gonna do this he's not gonna be he's not gonna project himself to be um or shown portray himself to be weak to his people that he's you know ruling over and i just feel like it's a huge just a lesson in life like you can't always operate on your ego and it's not always how you are the ends because i feel like the ends did not justify the means for him um because he ended up losing his child in the process so sometimes you know it's okay to put your pride aside and you know just do what you're told because god if god is telling you to do something you don't want to do it i don't think you want to play with god like because he learned his lesson but yeah this video is not going to be super like like my other ones because it's about the bible and i don't want to speak too much because i don't i'm still learning um and yeah but i want to talk about it just because it's been the theme of like the services that i've been watching or the bible study videos that i've been watching that i'm actually about to watch when after i finish this video and yeah so romans 8 28 that's a, that that i've been seeing a lot um and been just heavily in my i've been in alignment with that and then also gal gal was I will post it on here y'all see but i really love that um scripture as well so next we're gonna talk about the king's dreams because this is my my favorite out of the two um and this is about joseph's story and so joseph was um he had a lot of brothers so he was the youngest of all his brothers and his father knew how special he was and that god brought him there for the purpose and it was his dreams he had a dream and it was crazy because it, it makes me think of he had a dream about wolves uh i believe the wolves do, uh beating uh killing the sheep or attacking the sheep that they had and his brothers and his like none of no one believed him they thought he was crazy about the dream that he had and it just for the dream to come to pass so his brothers was very jealous of him because his dad or their father looked at him as you know special uh his brothers would be the ones out you know working in the fields and doing the labor and while joseph was um learning how to write learning how to read learning you know the bible learning all of those things and kind of he had special treatment but that's because he was special you know he had a divine purpose god brought him there for a divine purpose and divine reason for all of them little did they know just for his brothers to sell him to egypt to be a slave for some silver because they were that jealous of him and then had told their dad that he, um, I can't remember how they said that he died, but they basically said that he died, like he was killed or something like that. So this is also their half brother as well. So that's why they were very jealous of him because uh, Joseph had his own mother. Um, so they were half siblings, not, you know, same mom and dad. And so basically, yeah, he went off to Egypt and he was a slave, but he was very smart. He was a hard worker um and that over i don't want to say overshadowed but that was highlighted um by the pharaoh of egypt and they they noticed it like you know how, how hard working he was and so he became closer to i believe it's the pharaoh i'm going to say the pharaoh just because that's the only word i know right now and just for the pharaoh's wife to lie on his name and say that she that he raped her or tried to make a pass at her um really because she made a pass at him and he was like no he denied it and so because he he said no to her she was upset and lied on him and so for that he went into prison for 13 years um and in prison he was in there with two people at first and they told joseph about the dreams that they were having and he was able to prophesy what the what the dreams meant um yeah and that they were going to come to pass and so that allowed that that gift that he had of being able to profit to i think i'm saying where prophesize dreams or decide, decipher dreams i should say decipher dreams 
is essentially what helped allowed him to come out of prison and, and it was really his gift that helped him and his family 13 years later he gets out of prison um because the pharaoh i feel like the pharaoh knew and believed that he just didn't like he wasn't the type of person or had the character to do what his wife was saying that he did um however again like in the king and prince of egypt they something about when you're in charge they don't want to show mercy on people because it kind of looks like they're they're being like you know they're showing that they're weak or like they're easy to get over on but he really didn't do anything wrong but anyways eventually the pharaoh ended up meeting joseph and so he got out of prison and when he came out of prison he wasn't a slave anymore he was you know dressed up nice um and he was able to decipher the dream that i don't see now i can't say pharaoh because I think the pharaoh is the ruler ruler person i'm going to say the king whatever the king because he's bigger than the pharaoh was having this dream and he couldn't understand what the dream was but the dream was about um how seven years of abundance and then seven years uh i'm going to say struggle but that wasn't the word that he used but basically for seven years it was going to be like you know crops and all of this beautifulness and then i can't remember what was going to happen but something was going to wash all of that away if they weren't prepared for it and it would have been seven years of you know struggle trying to get that back but because he was able to proph prophesize the dream he was able to tell them what they needed to do he ended up becoming the he became the ruler and all over egypt of like you know their stuff and he knew all about their crops and their produce and all of those beautiful things right um just for full circle moment now he's like the king yeah he's the king and he and his his brothers come trying to get the um I want to say seeds i'm not sure if it was seeds but the little the seeds for them to start building um or planting you know to grow their crops and stuff again um and he noticed that it was his brothers and then he like his whole world shook and it was like wow you haven't seen these people in like 20 years dang there however many years after they sold you like they left this man for dead, ho. Oh. My man, my man, my man, my man. Bitch, your man left you for dead, ho. Oh. Um, just to come and need them for their crops. And they weren't even from Egypt. Uh, but they were saying they're trying to feed their family. So he stepped in like, no, we're not going to give them any uh, of the seeds. And he ended up putting one of them, because it was one of the brothers who was more of like a little to him, um, in the jail. And he told him to come back and said that he had a younger brother. And he... They wanted to protect his younger brother and make sure his they wanted to make sure his younger brother was okay so he had another brother that looked exactly like him that looked exactly like him and he told him to bring the brother so he brings the brother and he's looking like bro what and still they don't understand like this is their brother that they left for dead to be a slave you know what i'm saying um and he was very just i, I feel like he was so hurt and just took him back because like your own family your own blood left you for dead and they sold you for silver and now they need you it's just so funny how life works and how god really gonna teach a person a lesson um and so he eventually tells them like hey i'm your brother that you left because basically they were like we have to he was trying to be, be he was being very like spiteful and mean to the younger brother that he actually didn't know because they're like being protective over him because it's like he wasn't like that for them but he um he was acting a certain way towards him because of how they were towards him so he was like you wouldn't because he was trying to try to take him to go to jail and it made he made it seem like he stole but he didn't really steal and the other brothers were willing to say no no i'll go to jail for him so he was like again took him back and felt felt hurt because they were willing to do that for him for that brother but not for him and they treated him like you know shit. um but eventually he tells them like hey i'm actually your brother had a whole moment start crying and stuff and he showed mercy on them and he was forgiving to them and then oh and then in the process his mother passed away oh my god i was so hurt by that i was like gee his mom's gone but in up and anyways in the end his dad's there all his brothers is there his younger brother now that he has and they're all living in a freaking palace because he's the king of egypt you know and I feel like that story was very just touching to me um, because like, it's just very crazy that the very people like your own family, the very people that you're closest to, even if they're not your family friends or whatever, just how they could just switch up on you, you know? Um, and just treat you like dirt on their shoes, under their shoes, literally. And to still have the 
so much i feel like you have to be such a loving person and built and just just built a specific way like you're you're it's just not in your character to do the same thing that someone does for you like people say uh treat people how they treat you or if i did to you what you did to me but it's like if that's not in my character to do to you what you did to me because it's not in my character i could never do that and that simply was not in his character like just, if you watch the movie you would see like it was hard for him to be so rah rah and mean towards them and just really trying to get them to show that they were hurt or that they felt bad, which they did eventually say like, you know, they regretted doing what they did. It like ate them up for all them years. Cause you don't do something like that and just think you're gonna be okay afterwards, you're not. But to still be so forgiving, it's, and not even realizing that his very gift of what they were despising him over and jealous of him over is the very thing that resulted in them all as a family years later living in this palace not having to worry about anything y'all definitely recommend watching this movie i basically told y'all the story but there's a lot of like details that i did not tell because i truly just my memory ain't that good um but even outside of that i just can't depict it as good as it can be depicted in this movie or in the bible so i definitely recommend you guys watch it um and i really love justice i love both stories but i really love justice because I can really relate to being someone that is just, you know, looked over or not treated, you know, how you treat them and um, just having to show mercy on someone and forgiving them for treating you wrong and treating you like you're less than and just always having to be the bigger person. Like that is very exhausting sometimes. However, it's also very rewarding because God will reward you for it. Um, but yeah, I really like these movies. And I really wish there was more movies that were like cartoon um, depicting the different um, books in the Bible or different, you know, stories in the Bible, characters in the Bible. But there's not, sadly. There's only those two, but that's okay. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was definitely me talking kind of all over the place and just telling the story. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I recommend that you guys watch them both. Um, they're not that long. Prince of Egypt was like an hour, 30 minutes. And King of Dreams um, is like maybe an hour long. So together that's two and a half hours. Y'all have two and a half hours to learn more about these two amazing stories. It's something you'll have to, you'll take from the movies um, and their stories. So yes, thank you guys so much for watching. And I shall see you in the next video. Bye.